January, February, March, March, March. So why does February feel like it happened years ago? Why do the days drag on, but the months go by in a flash? And what is happening to our perception of time during this crisis? Well, the answer can be both simple and complicated. When you're driving a car and you lose control and you're skidding on the ice and you're about to hit the back of the next car, time seems to slow down. Things seem to happen in, happen in slow motion. Peter C. is a professor at Dartmouth. He studies human vision and consciousness. This is one of his areas of expertise. And he says our perception of time is directly linked to attention. If we're paying attention, events might in the moment seem to slow down. So here's what Professor C. thinks is happening. We're no longer in zombie mode. Our regular routines are pretty much gone. And things we would usually ignore, well, now they grab our attention. Normally you don't pay attention to doorknob doorknobs. They're just doorknobs. But now a doorknob might contain the virus. So suddenly you're paying attention to the doorknob. So time might seem to slow down in the moment. However, we have to also look at time as it is experienced retrospectively. So it's not just about attention. Our brains measure how much time has passed using landmarks, sort of like events on a calendar. Usually our lives are full of temporal landmarks, you know, small ones like on Friday I had that meeting, and on Monday I took the kids to the soccer game. So we don't have an objective, you know, cesium atom clock in our brains. We're kind of counting the number of events that go by. Well, if not many events go by and every day is kind of Sunday, then in retrospect, poof, boy, April went by quick, even though each day in April might have seemed to have gone by really slowly.